We're going to have to defend extremely well. Um, as we've seen already in this tournament, Japan are an excellent uh, attacking outfit. Uh, they're coached really well. Um, so we're, we're going to have to perform defensively. I think the way we've defended in the last uh, couple, of, couple of games gives us confidence. The way we defended today in training as well, we can take confidence uh, from the aspects. But essentially, it's going to come down to uh, both sides of the ball in, in one sense, because we feel as though we can, if we get our attack right, we can score some points. Uh, but first and foremost, we'll be looking for a defence to fire. It's obviously a little bit different in terms of our normal build-up. Yeah, we would normally go to uh, to do a captain's run the, the day before a game. But I think in this instance, I think it can actually help us because we've had a short turnaround, uh, and then the players have been uh, really good all week in terms of getting up to speed with the plays. And today we, we trained extremely well. It's probably the best I've seen us train uh, for a while. So we feel as though we could we could play tomorrow. Um, so I think that's an excellent spot to be in. We'll probably do a, some sort of a walkthrough uh, in the hotel. Um, if we can't find an area, we can do a walkthrough. And it's just about players having real clarity on, on their role knowledge. And then once we have that, uh, that allows us to, uh, you know, to build out the game. We're, we're available to play on Monday, uh, if, if need be. And I think, yeah, listen, it's Japan have, have been excellent so far in the tournament. It's certainly not their fault, and they're in a strong position. Uh, you know, and I think they want to play the game as well, and uh, but so do we. Uh, I mean, it's just uh, it's frustrating, and you know, as a playing group and as uh, both as a playing group and, and as an individual, you work so hard to to, to come at competitions like this and, and play in these type of games. Uh, obviously, we can't control uh, what the weather's going to do, but I think to have the option of a backup plan certainly from a playing group is something that needs to be looked at. I think from the first game against Ireland, obviously we didn't we didn't show. You know, half of what we can probably do and our, our potential. But um, I think from then we've defensively we've been outstanding against Samoa and Russia to nil both teams and attacking wise we've um, been a lot more clinical and we've been into the finish zone. Um, so now I think we've come on even in, even from the Ireland game we've come on a lot and especially from pre season so we're uh, we're in a good place just now going into the weekend and we just need to back up this performance at the weekend um, and keep pushing forward. You know, when you got here um, there's a lot of sort of hype around this game before we got here, knowing it was going to be the last group stage game for us and uh, uh, Japan. Um, I think now after them running three from three, there's a little bit more. They've got a lot of momentum and a lot of support behind them. But uh, I think we've adapted well to conditions and, and we know what to expect. I think the game against Russia on, on Wednesday was good because it kind of broke the week up a little bit. Um, so we've, we've kind of had a, a short couple of days getting ready for, for Japan. But like we mentioned earlier, we're definitely ready for the game. We could probably play tomorrow, as we mentioned. So I'm not looking at it as a, an away game. I think we've been here long enough that we know the conditions, we know that we know the pitch already. So um, there are you know, plenty of Scots over here supporting us. So um, it'll be a great occasion, I think, for both teams. But I'm not looking at this as a, an away game and as part of the competition. So it's it's more um, neutral, I suppose, than uh, maybe a summer tour over here.